Why? Hi everyone, so today's makeup look is this Joker Chelsea Smile Grin inspired quick easy Halloween look simple I don't know how many keywords I can put in this title but I hope you get the idea by now. So if you want to know how to achieve this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so first I've primed with L'Oreal's Infallible Primer, I think that's the name. And now I'm just using the Snazaru White Face Paint, it's only like four pounds. And we're just gonna use a foundation brush, wet it and just apply it to the face. Because the Joker, as you can see by his face paint, has been wearing it for years and years and years and stuff it's like aged if that makes any sense so when you're applying this scrunch all your face up and raise your forehead and just try and get in them fine lines so that like when you relax it leaves lines and it'll give that effect of that you're aging <laughs> it's not worked for me at all because i don't have wrinkles <laughs> You don't need a lot of face paint around the eye because we're going to be putting black there anyway so like I said, it doesn't have to be like clean or look even, it can look patchy and it'll still work. Because like I've said, the Joker is a character who's sort of lived his entire career, as you'd say, in face paint. So it ages and he wears it all day, all the time, so it's not really clean or new. And also he's kind of an old character, like he's an old man. Well, not old man, but you know what I mean, like he's an older man than what I am. It's sort of different on his skin, so it's okay if it looks a mess on yours. <laughs> so we're going to be putting blood and stuff all around the mouth and black around the eyes, so you won't even notice all this mess. <laughs> I've just noticed how yellow this makes my teeth look. Anyway, now with a smaller foundation brush, by the way there's no brand on these brushes, these are just my college ones, they're literally like basic non-branded ones. With this black snazzery paint, which is also £4, you can probably find it cheaper online but this is just the price that I found it at. You're just going to want to wet your brush and dip it into that and go all around the eyes. So personally what I like to do with the black face paint around the eyes is I like to drag it upwards up here to give this almost contoured effect, even though it's not contouring, if that makes sense. So it's sort of like going to lift the face up, but if you're going for a more like drag down, sort of miserable, angry look, then you can take the face paint and bring it down instead, if that makes any sense. But I personally like bringing it up. And sort of smudge it out with your fingers. And do the same on the other eye. Okay, so that's the eyes done. <laughs> also, just a tip, but try and cover as much as your eyebrows as you can because you don't want to see like the hairs. You sort of want the eyebrows to like blend in with the black when you can't see your eyebrows because you can't really tell anyone's emotions. <laughs> so now with black eyeshadow, I'm just using this one from the Mayron palette. You can literally get black eyeshadow everywhere, but you're just going to want to put it all around your eye just to sort of deepen it. Because like I said, with these face paints, it can be a little bit watery. So you're just going to want to put it all around your eye. So now the eyeshadow is done, and sorry about the lighting, it keeps getting really bright and really dark. Now with a red eyeshadow or a red face paint or red anything, red lipstick, I'm just going to mark out where I'm going to put this giant smile. I'm just going to use the red eyeshadow out of this palette, so... So it doesn't really matter where you place that, by the way, because we're just going to put blood and stuff all over it, so really doesn't matter. <laughs> and now what I'm going to do just off camera, because I can't really do it on camera because my hands are so hard to keep still when I'm doing lipstick, I'm just going to put on some red lipstick. This is optional because you can just smudge red stuff all over your lips. It doesn't have to be neat, but I want mine to be like he was wearing lipstick and then his smile went up, if that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, so now I added lipstick. I just used Jeffree Star Cosmetics Unicorn Blood. <laughs> because it's a real dark vampy red that just looks perfect to mix with the blood. Now for this next part you're going to need latex and some tissue slash toilet roll slash kitchen roll slash anything. Today I'm just using Mayron's liquid latex. You can get loads of different brands of latex so just go and find some yourself but I know this one works very well. And then with some toilet roll you're just going to want to take off about two squares and just Find how long that you need. It probably only need one square actually. And you just need to find the length of how long you need this cut. So my cut's gonna be about half a square. I'm just gonna rip off 
half the square because that's all I need, you see? <laughs> and now, so this is the length and we're just gonna cut like half of that off. I know I'm like wasting so much of it. And then what you're gonna do is just roll it sort of like a cigarette, but not like a cigarette. Just sort of twist and scrunch it and have it all messed up. Cause it's sort of supposed to look like an open wound when it's stuck down. So that's what it's gonna look like once it goes down. So for this part, what you're gonna need is some cotton buds like these. And I'm gonna explain it now because I won't be able to explain it whilst I'm doing it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip this into the latex and wipe where this cut is. This is why I marked this out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick that on top. And we're also gonna put more latex on top of the tissue even when we've laid it down. Because then it's gonna dry out the paper and sort of give the paper that texture on top while sticking it down to my face. The only reason I'm explaining this now is because once I'm doing it, I won't be able to move my mouth because it'll just slide off. Also, this stinks like fish. I honestly hate it. <laughs> So as you can see, I've stuck down the paper. I'm finding it really hard to smile. <laughs> Next, I'm just gonna apply Mayron squirt blood to the wound and also dripping it down my face. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna repeat this on the other side and also I'm gonna add more blood drops here. You can add as many as you like, by the way. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just gonna apply this Ben Nye Dark Blood. It's just a much more thicker and it's a lot more darker, so it gives the better effect of a dark wound because even though we've covered this, you can still see the white bits underneath and it looks pretty obvious. Also, I want it as dark as my lips so it sort of matches. You're just going to want to focus this on the middle bit, so just where it's white and raised, you want to focus the dark blood there. I'm just going to use a cotton bud again just to apply it on there. So for the final touches, and I've done this on every client and person that I've done this look on, I put a little bit of blood on the nose. Just so it gives that effect of the, I've like sliced someone or that I've eaten someone and the blood sort of hit my nose. You can put it anywhere else on your face as well. Okay, so for the final touches, just because I sort of forgot about this, I'm just going to use this black eyeliner pencil and just put it in my waterline just so it makes my eyes look more in depth. Also some additional tips, if you are very oily or you need this look to sort of wear for a long time, you could also put some powder on top, like, like for example some white powder. I have this one behind me that's by Ben 9, it's called Super White, so if you wanted to dust that on top, if you struggle with oily skin and stuff like that, I know I do, but I'm only wearing this look for about an hour maybe. <laughs> but yeah, this is the look, it's just an easy, simple, joker Halloween look that I thought would be easy for those people who are in a rush and don't really want a hard makeup look and for outfit wise you can just wear a shirt and a tie, I mean it's that easy. Well thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this quick mini tutorial on how to achieve this look. Also if you want more Halloween tutorials be sure to subscribe to my channel and click like and comment and all that stuff. Well thank you so much for watching. Bye. Get me the trash.